remember the first flood that I saw in Fairfield was in 1984. <coughs> and my neighbor called me, I was working in the sheriff's office, and, and she said, Tom, you better come home because this water is rising. So I came home, I went in my backyard, and we could just see the water going up. And she said, you're a counseling, can you do something about it? <laughs> and I said, if I had a big sponge, <laughs> I might be able to do something about it. I learned after that, there's nothing you can do about that water, it just keeps coming. I gotta say that all the different councilmen that I've served with, and all the different mayors that I've served with, they've all been wonderful people. Um, once in a while I would speak up and say things that were not acceptable, not that they weren't acceptable, but they were disagreeable to the general consensus. But the, the best thing about being on this township of Fairfield is no matter who the other people were, after the meeting we went out, we had coffee in the diner, we weren't mad at each other. If you didn't agree with something, you just voted differently, that's all. And life went on. And uh, it's always been that way, and it continues to this day to be that way. And now, uh, as I'm getting older, I uh, have some intentions of moving to Florida. Maybe not full-time, but at least part-time. So I think it's time for a younger person um, to sit in this chair and um, give them a chance to enjoy what I've enjoyed for all these years. Um, being a, a politician, quote unquote, is like an addiction. You never see anybody who sits up here say, I don't think I want to do this anymore. <laughs> what you've done it, you love it, and you just keep doing it. 